Hello everybody, how is it going? My name is Parallax Abstraction and welcome to the first ever episode of Retro Flashback Plays. Oh god, it's another Let's Play. What the hell? Yes, I know, I know, I know, but there's a lot of these out there, but hear me out. I, I think maybe I'm bringing something interesting to the table here. Alright, quickly, so what is this thing about? Well, yes, it's a Let's Play, but I'm hoping it's going to be a little bit unique because, well, it's Retro Let's Play. Now, there's other guys who do those too, but... The reason I came up with this is that there are a number of games out there, both that I wanted to play and that people have suggested that I cover, that either because of their length or slow start or other such things like that don't really fit into the traditional formula of a 20 minute retro flashback episode. Just not a real good way to do that. And I thought it would be interesting to be able to play some of these games start to finish so that you can see all that they have to offer, get a more complete picture of it. And also so that, well, some of these are games that I either haven't played in a very long time or that I've never played at all and have always wanted to. So it's kind of an educational experience for me as well. Some of these are going to be more obscure games or titles that are well regarded but did not necessarily do very well at the time and have not necessarily been remember you know remembered uh, on a larger scale things that could maybe use a little bit of exposure for people who are interested so that's what this is about hope you guys enjoy it please uh leave feedback tell me how i'm doing uh this is more of a i guess what you call a long play i'm going to be playing these games hopefully start to finish and you know this ain't pewdiepie i'm gonna i'm gonna try to be a little funny a little witty but it's 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 gonna be i'm gonna be playing these games for reals so anyway so well, as you can see here, our first game is going to be for the Sega CD. And, well, as you've probably seen from the title already, I'm going to be playing Snatcher. So, what is that? Well, let's fire it up here, and I will show you. Whoops, hit the wrong, hit the wrong switch there. Just a sec. All right, let's fire this sucker up, shall we? All right, here we go. So what is Snatcher and why am I playing it? Well, it's very interesting. This is um, the Sega CD version. This is this game actually came out on the MSX2 originally and also came to some other systems, uh, including the PC Engine, uh, which is actually apparently the best version of it. The problem with that is that the Sega CD version is, well, the only version that got localized to English in 1994, as you can see. And, well, as you can see at the top there, it's a cyberpunk adventure game. And, well, I love good adventure games, and I love me some cyberpunk. There's not nearly enough cyberpunk in this world, if you ask me. So, I thought this would be very interesting. I've actually heard and read in a number of places that this game is actually really, really cool. It's got a neat story. It's got a lot of voice acting. It's very over-the-top, hammy radio play style, which I think is going to be really cool. And potentially most interesting... This is actually the second ever game by Hideo Kojima, also known as, well, the madman behind Metal Gear, which is a series that I love despite the fact that it is utterly incomprehensible. Uh, so he did the original Metal Gear for the MSX and the NES, and then he did this. And it's really, really interesting. It's a cyberpunk adventure game. It's the only one in its series. And I, it's supposed to be really good. I have not played much of this other than um, a little bits of the beginning here and there to test my recording setup. I've actually not watched the full intro or played more than about partway through the tutorial area. So this is going to be cold for me. I know very, very little about it. I know it's apparently inspired by Blade Runner and the like, which is cool. So we're going to experience this together. I think it's going to be kind of neat. So I am playing with just the controller or joypad. This game apparently does have some gun combat sections in it. I have never seen any of them. I don't know what they're like. This game did actually support a uh, light gun peripheral. I don't have it. And, well, I'm playing these games through an LCD monitor, which these LCD monitors generally are not conducive to light guns. So we're going to suck it up and do it with the controller. So we shall see here. Oh, I got that sweet CD music. There's similarities in this, apparently. It uses RSS... Wait, that's not... That's not RSS as we know it. Hehehe. <laughs> 
hack the planet! Oh, yes. That is amazing. Oh, God. June 6th, 1996. A mysterious explosion destroys the Chernodin research facility near Chernodin? Lucifer Alpha, a powerful biological weapon under secret development there, is released. I already the love this voice acting. A deadly biohazard. Carried Whoa. by the trade winds, Lucifer Alpha spreads throughout Eastern Europe and Eurasia, destroying 80% of the populace. Jesus. Half of the world's people die. The greatest biohazard in history. So that's a bit of a becomes known simply as catastrophe. The catastrophe. <laughs> but the, at this well, time, I'm glad you agree. Possibly imagined the catastrophe. The ultimate biohazard wouldn't occur for another half century. Fifty years later, mankind faces oh, listen to that banging Japanese the butt rock. Of a mysterious android life form. Its purpose and origin are unknown. Is it a new form of weapon? Guy is or perhaps banging on them drums. Other world. They Whoa. appear during winter, killing humans and infiltrating society by They're taking the winter? place of their victims. Employing an artificial skin, they can sweat and even bleed. Oh, part organic, part machine. They're almost impossible to distinguish from those they kill. Replicants. Why would they As only see in winter? Victims' bodies in order to take their place. Ah! These mysterious invaders become known as Snatchers. Oh. This is that is creepy. Oh, yeah. It's weird because the title implies you're playing as one, but I don't believe you are. Okay. I don't know if this is as long-winded as your average Kojima narrative or not. That's Japan, all right. Neo Kobe, eh? Not old Kobe. Oh my god, this music is so good! I'm really loving this 16-bit art, too, like with the blown-out bright colors. It's great. This looks an awful lot like Blade Runner. Aw, oh, listen to that sweet sax. I guess that's me. Met what? Metal Gear? There's a Metal Gear in this? And it it's voiced by a huge... What? Oh, I gotta see that. Like I said, folks, I know nothing about this game other than it's cyberpunk and it's supposed to be good, which is why I'm digging into this. Oh, this is some great 80s we got going right here. Which is rather funny since this game came out in the 90s. Very detailed intro for a 16-bit game. That's a pretty mean-looking place. Oh, I love this. I love the color use in this. There he is. So the interesting thing about this game as well is, as I understand it, this game did reasonably well in Japan, but this Sega CD version was apparently a colossal sales bomb. It only sold a few thousand copies, uh, and it, uh, it, it was a huge flop, which is why we never saw more games like this. But the few people who did play it, I've, I've read reviews and articles about it, and the few people who did play it said it was really something special. Okay, you play it, Bob? If this game, they said this game is something really special uh, for the 16-bit era, especially because it's an adventure game, which we we don't see a lot of on on consoles at all, especially for consoles back in this era. How was work? Everything okay? Hmm. Gillian, what is it? What's wrong? Jamie, I've become a junker. A junker? What? Gillian, but why? Jamie, you know why. It's the only way we can regain our lost memories. 
snatcher is the only word that keeps coming back every time we try to remember our pasts. I have to face them to find out why. Yes, but I can sense that there is something terrible hidden in our past. And if we remember it, it will destroy us. Jamie! I'm going now. This is some hamtastic. Jamie! What? I can't hear you! Oh, this is some hamtastic voice acting. I love it. This is how you did things at the dawn of the CD-ROM era, ladies and gentlemen. Multimedia. <laughs> Gillian Seed. Estimated age 31. Estimated? Three years ago, he and his wife, Jamie Seed, are taken into protective custody in the Siberian neutral zone by the 17th he Siberian He looks very uh, force. haggard and determined. Both Gillian and Jamie suffer from severe amnesia. Their memories of events prior to being picked up in Siberia lost in what? mysterious mental fog. Two years ago, after a vain attempt to rebuild their marriage, Jamie and Gillian separate. Following extensive special military training, Gillian is ordered to report to Neo Kobe City as a Junker, effective today. What is a Junker? I guess we're going to find out. This is definitely a Kojima-esque intro. It's making full use of that 600 megs of storage capacity. Voice acting's pretty good quality, all things considered, though. Whoa. Sony. There's a lot of brands in this screen. It, it. So, Konami is the Junker... What? <laughs> Alright. Right to the point, I guess. So, um, little thing here as well, folks. This game does have a lot of voice acting in it, but it's not fully voice acted. So it is a combination of text and voice. I'll try not to, I read pretty fast, but I'll try not to skip the text too quickly so that you guys can, uh, can keep along here. And this, uh, this part I did know from my little test for recording. So because this is an adventure game, it is very, there is a lot of, uh, actual just at screens making choices to, uh, to investigate and look at stuff and talk to people. So... I'm gonna take a look here. See how this goes. I guess the operator's that lady. Okay. I find it very odd that the guy's name is Gillian. Not G he's a male, and he has a name that's spelled Jillian, but his name is actually Gillian, which I find really weird. Okay, so the Junkers are some kind of military organization, I guess. Shielded. Huh. So it's like a terror proof pod that she's in. Well, that's helpful. I don't even know where the camera is in this shot, but okay. Okay. Some of these are very adventure game esque, like this is the obvious thing that it appears to be, but we're still going to let you look at it. So we can investigate. So I guess investigate is a, like, give me a larger, kind of like the equivalent of like a look more closely command in a traditional adventure game, I guess. By snatchers! The word is all caps, so you know it's important. I guess. Oh, sorry, ma'am. <laughs> no, you may not. I'm still looking around. That's generally what you would do with a camera, no? Okay, so I guess, uh... Oh, there's the talk, all right. Hello, lady. I'm Gillian Seed. I've been assigned to Junker Headquarters effective today. Oh, you're Mr. Seed. Please forgive me. Why, well, yes, I am. My name is Mika Slayton. I'm the administrative assistant and operator here at Junker Headquarters. Very pleased to meet you. Now, 
I don't really care, but just a minor point of order here. Um, he said she was a beautiful, quote, oriental woman. She looks very white to me, doesn't she? I don't know. No, whatever. Uh, I didn't think he was going to say anything. Though, I have to admit, this is Hideo Kojima, and, well, Hideo Kojima does sometimes do some rather interesting portrayals of women in his games. I'm not going to make this a big political thing, but, uh... Snatchers! I... Okay, I guess not. I'll... I'm going to take your word on that, ma'am. So there's a there is a fair amount of this in the in this game. There's a lot of this menu stuff. I think there are some action bits, and I know there's more exposition and, and discovery later on. But there is a, a fair amount of this, especially initially. Good God, is that what Junker stands for? That is a horrible acronym, or rather, a horrible name to base that acronym on. Jeez, that is that is insane. That I'd like to see tested. <laughs> okay. See, it's not showing as an acronym there, though. It's just the word Junker capitalized. You're looking like a bit of an idiot. Okay, so here's some mul different things we can ask about. This music's okay, but it's a little, it is a little repetitive. The Bioroid Snatcher Menace. That's in red, which means it's extra important, I'm betting. Sure. <laughs> it's Japan, but not Japan. All right. Yeah, actually, it kind of is, isn't it? <laughs> no. I'm not. At all. Uh, okay, so I guess we... Enter now. Mr. Seed? Gillian's fine, and you can call me Gillian, Mika. Okay, Gillian. That's a very different looking picture. I'll open picture. the main door and show you around headquarters. Okay. Um, well, Chief's probably going to give us our briefing, so that'll probably be interesting. So let's just hit that first. Chief Cunningham, Gillian Seed is here. I brought him in as you requested. Oh, Thanks for coming, Seed. Whoa. I'm Benson Cunningham, the chief of Junker Operations. Gillian Seed, I've been transferred... I accentuate my voice in a very division. fantastical I manner. I all about your special training in the military, Seed. I hope you'll put it to good use on your new assignment here. By the way, I understand you're suffering from amnesia. Any sign yet that your memory's coming back? I'm afraid not. I still can't remember a thing from before the army picked me up three years ago. You're married, aren't you? Yes, but we're separated now. She has amnesia as well, and without any memories between the two of us, I'm afraid there was very little to base a good relationship on. Aww. I can see your point there. That was abrupt. Also, is it me, or does that couch look like it's made out of either Play-Doh or large pasta tubes? Just saying. I... yeah. Alright, let's poke around. Okay. That is a snazzy monitor he has there. That's a pretty baller computer, if you, if you ask me. No tablets for this guy. Give me all the monitors. <laughs> this definitely does have, though this was localized, this definitely does have some awkward English. Y 
yeah. Put some marinara sauce on there, or maybe a little sausage. It'd be delicious, too. How do I know? You're all potential snatchers. Holograms, eh? Guessing his kid or something made it. An air cushion, eh? Ro <laughs> robot sofas! Chaos... What is this? It's a chaos robot sofa? I don't even understand. What? That's awesome. I don't know why I find that so funny. Alright, let's find out about these things, shall we? Oh, wow. It's very new. Oh, is that the rec oh the recruiting poster, I guess she meant? That's pretty funny. Well, at least Mika can talk straight with this guy. Straightforward. What? These read like the... Hmm. This reads a lot like Asimov's Laws of Robotics, does it not? Bounty hunters, make note of that, people. Navigator and a turbo cycle! Okay. Oh, wow. This is piling in. This is, I imagine, though, this is the tutorial area, so I, I imagine there will be, in this first episode, a lot of front-loaded text and stuff. So, this will probably pick up a little bit once we get out of here. Okay. I always love how so many Japanese games have that, uh... That, uh, slanted exclamation point in their text. We're a runner. Wait. This whole organization is five people? Really? Then we're gonna stop all the snatchers out there. That seems like an awful low payroll for that, doesn't it? I don't know about that. That should be enough to make your duties as a junker quite clear. This is your Junker ID card. It will identify you as a Junker. Carrying it allows you to exercise your special authority. I special see. authority, sort of like eh? a police officer's badge, huh? And uh, here's some money. It's not much, but you'll need it to carry out your investigation. Cash? Okay. Credit cards aren't accepted in some regions of the city. You'll need this sooner or later. Sounds like it's a rough place out there. Go see Harry, the engineer. He's got your equipment ready for you. Am I the only person who thinks as well that, like, this thing is, uh, this is an organization of only five people, yet it has a chief? Okay, wait, actually, we already got that. Use Jordan? Who's Jordan? Okay. Who's Jordan? Okay. Interesting. All right. Ooh, the inventory system is a little bit of a... Yeah, the inventory system's a little... Gonna be a little clunky, I think, if it's all done through this menu. Agreed. It's only 2013 and I already believe cash is obsolete. Oh, it's like a TurboGrafx Hue card. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's move on, I guess. Uh, 
Uh, let's go see the engineer, I guess. Oh my god, that same looping tune. That is also a weird poster. It looks like Marilyn Monroe is really upset at how her armpit smells. I Maybe that's just how I see it. Art is subjective after all, right? Harry's not around at the moment, eh? That's a... This guy is a little creepy with the compliments. Why do I have a feeling that's going to lead somewhere? Because this is Kojima after all. Yellow text. Probably because he's that probably means that it's because the relevant item or person is in this area. I don't think Katrina's in here unless she's in the picture. Alright, well, I guess we'll have to come back here. Go check the detective's room. Okay, wait. Runners. But I thought I was the only runner. Or was I just a runner? Jean Jack Gibson. Oh, okay. No, I'm not the only runner. Alright. Creepy, man. Why would I... Okay. This guy is not a Casanova, that's for sure. At least not in this world. Okay. Doesn't look antique. So there's not much here. So we'll move on again. Whoa. Now there's a PC, ladies and gentlemen. Can that run Crisis? I wonder. Did she... Did she just say that out loud? <laughs> Keyboard, eh? Input and output devices. How to use. Ooh, do we have to use this? Online regional data. God, you people and your acronyms, man. AI based processors, eh? Okay, so what do I do with it? Alright, let's check it out. What up, Jordan? Junker card going in. Hmm, this is going to be interesting. I, I wonder if there's any points in this I'm going to get stuck and need to use a fac. I hope not, but it looks like there's gonna there might be a lot of data retrieval and having to find items and people that you kind of read between the lines. John Konami? <laughs> oh, I got to try that. Oh, God. Manual text input. I just got to see if John... I'm sorry, I just have to see if John Konami is a real person. Oh, 
at least it loops. Aw, oh, what? There should have been something there. What's a fact file? Oh, wow. There's a lot of stuff here. Catastrophe the. 1996, eh? Kojima is definitely uh, pulling and modifying elements of real history for this. Viruses usually mutate into worse things. Huh. Definitely a dystopian future here. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's so much stuff here. I don't think I'm going to go through all this, guys, because I know just sitting here reading text does not make for entertaining television, so... We pretty much know that. Wait, that's... Uh-oh, hang on a sec. Oh, pardon me. Goodness, reading makes me sneeze. Um... Yeah, okay, a lot of this is... A lot of this is pretty, pretty boring. Let's check culture, science, and politics. This could be interesting. Oh my god! This whole game is text! Global warming, wow. Interesting they bring that up. That was not a topic many people talked about in the early 90s. Helium-3 mine. Oh. Huh. Yeah, okay. Pest oh, I thought that said pasta project. That would have been pretty funny. Like, I'll give them this. Like, the, they they have created a very, very rich fiction here. Like, in, 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 and I like the fact that unlike most Kojima games, like, you can, you can just, you can read this if you want, but you don't have to, you know? It's not like some of the Metal Gear games where you're basically subjected to a half an hour PowerPoint presentation. To, it's going to be like, you are going to learn about this universe I've made, God damn it! But this one is uh, quite a bit more opt-in. But yes, this is also taking a very long time, so I don't want to spend an hour just doing this. Also, one thing I do know is that until you've completed a lot of the tutorial stuff, you actually can't save your game, so I need to be able to do that before I can stop recording, so... Oh my goodness, okay. This is very cool, like, I, I'm really liking the fact that they're doing a lot of that stuff, but I'm getting the feeling that's not really relevant to the story, at least not yet, so... Let's just check a couple of interesting looking things. Okay. Alright, let's back up here. So let's see... Let's check politics. This, I bet, is important stuff. Huh. So they're clearly very, very panicked about these things and their potential impact to the point where they're willing to really inconvenience the populace, which I find rather interesting. North-South problem? Hmm. Ah, 
Class War, eh? Speaking of rip from the headlines. <laughs> wow, the Blade Runner in this is thick. Off the grid, folks, eh? <laughs> to be confused with the homeless. Who are not free at all. Municipal Data Administration Districts. Tube liner? That sounds gross. Alright, um... Outer districts, and then we'll move on. Ah, this is why I needed cash. Gonna be going to some of these places, it looks like. chunk of the city is uh, in chaos here. Alright, we've seen enough from this, I think. Let's move on. Let's get to the shooting range, shall we? Thanks, Jordan. Let's go shoot some stuff. Oh good, we're back to this loop. <laughs> I agree. Man shaped. That's well, good by me. Oh, nice. So you can actually practice. Good. I think I'm going to need that. Let's try this out. All right. Let's see how guns work, shall we? But we went to visit. We went to visit Harry and he wasn't there. Oh, she she has her own ray gun? Nice. Um yeah, why not? So I have to draw and then fire. Okay. Word. So, the way this works is when you let go of the controller, it's always centering you. Um, so, what you have to do is you have to let go of the... So, you, you basically hold the controller in the direction you want to shoot, or rather on the target you want to shoot. And then as soon as you let go, it moves back to center. So, that's a little awkward and really takes some getting used to. I certainly can get used to it, but it's weird. I could definitely see that being a little more interesting with, uh... I could definitely see that being a little more interesting with the light gun peripheral. That's pretty basic. If that's the majority of the combat, it's basically like Hogan's Alley, but with a, a D-pad, which, eh. But it is an adventure game. Yes, we do need to find Harry, so let's head back here, I guess. Hey! Oh, good. Harry. Harry's back. Great to meet you. You're uh, Gillian Seed, right? Yeah. Haven't we met somewhere before? No, I don't believe so. Oh, really? Call back well, I to guess his enemy. Must be imagining things. Yeah, I bet you are. Investigate, Harry. Hey, what are you doing? Stop it!
Uh-uh. A uh, little bit of a throwback, maybe? Do I have something hanging from my nose? Yeah, it's all over your face. Look at it. <laughs> uh. Yeah, Marilyn Monroe being disgusted at her armpit. Can I investigate that? I just want to see what it is. Uh-huh. Oh, so the poster was the thing. Nothing to say about that? All right. Let's ask about that first. Oh, does Harry have amnesia too? Interesting. That was a little weird. He seems rather nonchalant about that. Always stolen? You don't know who's stealing them, I guess? Okay. Duly noted. So headshot him, basically, is what he's saying. Oh, that's right. Uh, don't panic yourself. I got it right over here. Don't panic this yourself. This is your blaster, the official weapon of a junker. It's got like a full user feedback circuitry. It's like a Robocop gun. Itself to your reaction time. In other words, it's just as good as you are. What do you think? Isn't that here, most see sense? See how she feels. Oh, look at that badass pose. It's unbelievably light. And he shines and makes a kachik. <laughs> you bet it is. This ain't one of those ray guns the army uses. She's put together with the latest carbon polymers and ceramics, not affected by heat one bit. Huh. And her ergonomic design optimizes both functionality and firepower. Well, what do you think, Gillian? I'll take it. Dun dun da. Ja ja dun 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 ja ja dun. I know, I know. All right, allow me to introduce the navigator, which I designed you know especially what? for you. Hey, Metal Gear, get out here! What? Metal Gear? Oh god. We're all doomed. Wait. Oh, look, it's a little mini Metal Gear! Oh, you can't... Metal, introduce You yourself. can't cause an apocalypse at all. Yes, sir. Pleased to meet you, Gillian. I am Metal Gear Mach 2. I am programmed to be your personal assistant. Metal Gear? That's a pretty weird name. <laughs> oh, he's cute. He did it! Uh, thank you. I think he's turning red. I took his basic design and his name from the Metal Gear Menace of the late 20th century. But uh, quite unlike that Metal Gear, this one was designed for peaceful purposes. Did this... So what? This takes place, theoretically, in the same universe as Metal Gear? Weird. Weird. Okay. So you're an AI toolbox, essentially. Ah, yes. Gotta work saving into the dialogue. Gotta break that fourth wall. That's what Kojima's good at. Well, it means I'm gonna be able to save at least, so that's a good thing. He's got a flashlight, does he? Oh, good. So what, I can Skype with it? Okay. So it's like a cell phone. I have a video phone call from Jean-Jacques Gibson coming in. Connecting. Who? Joker HQ, this is Gibson. I've cornered a probable male snatcher. I'm in the abandoned factory in the M District. Request immediate backup. Gillian, that means you. You better head out right away. Jean needs your help. We must hurry. We'll use a turbo cycle to travel to the scene. Turbo cycle? Hello, oh. That's not a cycle. This is a turbo cycle. 
specially designed for jumper use. That's a car. In addition to three-wheeled ground travel, it is capable of hovering and high-speed flight. Sweet. The vehicle is also VTOL capable, so takeoffs and landings in narrow areas present no difficulty. Wicked. A flying tricycle, huh? I just came in on one of these things. We have been assigned this vehicle for use in our investigations. I want it. Forty-seven. Look at tire. Three wheels. You know, I think they tried that with a regular car once, and wasn't it a bloody disaster? Save here. Let's just make sure it works. Nice. Sure. Got some time left. Now we're turning to the investigation. Let's get out of here. So it's autopilot. Hit the factory. All right. Now departing for the abandoned factory. Let's get some investigating on. Oh, it's like flying in Tron. Oh, my first day on the job, and now this. Ace Junker Gibson is cornered as suspected snatcher. I wonder if this guy really is a snatcher. Guess I'll find out now if all that training really paid off. This was Deep Thoughts with Gillian Seed. We're here. Can we get a new music loop, please? Whoa. Well, that's not ominous looking at all. You know, the other thing I don't know about this game is I really hope this isn't like older adventure games where you can get yourself stuck to a point where you can't recover. Like, you forget to do a puzzle thing in an earlier area that you can no longer access. That would really suck. I may end up using all four save slots just in case that's something that may happen. look that bad. What's that? Motion detector. Oh, good. All right. Well. But wait. We'll have to move inside, it said. So how do I do that? Was that a male scream? Perhaps something has happened to Jean Jacques. That was a really creepy sound. Alien, please use extreme caution. I read multiple moving objects within the factory. This could indicate the presence of snatchers or insectors. Insectors, what? what in the world's that? A spider like robot used by snatchers as security devices. What, though compact in size, they are armed with needle guns. Use extreme caution. Okay, you know what? Just to be safe. Yes. Oh my god, that's way too many prompts. <laughs> no, let's just walk away right here. Okay, well, here's potentially where stuff gets interesting. Let her, let's let her rip, ladies and gents. Combat. That's 
a really creepy noise. Die, punk. Agreed. Interesting. So is this like a tile-based movement, I guess? about all the movement you had before. just advance so it's not we don't have to pick multiple points of movement here what the it's little john little john yes john john gibson's personal navigator little john you know what i'm saying huh huh no Is that, like, water dripping onto it? Oh my. Dude, you're having a bad night. Sorry guys, I know I'm, uh, some of this I know I'm skipping around quickly, but it's mostly because I'm, it, like, I'm just quickly skipping through when they say things like, I don't find anything interesting here. You, I don't think anyone really cares about that. Nice at reverb. I will attempt it. Now retrieving memory chip. Memory chip retrieved. Okay. So can I investigate? Okay, I can't look at the memory chip. about ah here we go little memory okay well I'll have to keep that in mind retreat so we can move back interesting that you just move forward and back you're not really you're just investigating static screens in a linear progression at least here to this room, it looks like. It is. I'm gonna save again, I think, just in case we uh, get fail a combat sequence. I did, given that this is the first area, I get that's probably not gonna happen, but I want to make sure. Combat. Uh-oh. Nice little Zelda noise there. I agree. Oh, wow. 16-bit decapitation. Oh, dear God. Decapitation!
He looks really pissed about it, too. He's like, God damn it, this is not how I wanted to end today. Definitely gonna be combat in here, I think. Okay. Nothing here. Alright, well, I guess we looked through all that, so let's move up. Oh. Okay. Interesting. So there's nothing here. Yeah, it is. So maybe we should, uh... Let's try to phone in, I guess. Snow 9, what? Pollen? Radio interfering pollen. Really? appear to be able to do much here, so I guess we'll keep start backing up. Hmm. So, do we have to get outside to call, I guess? want to do something with Gibson, maybe? <laughs> Just, you know. Just guessing we're going to have to get outside. Oh, we're not... Wait, we're not done yet? Hmm. video phone here. Okay. So I guess we have to do something further back. Let's take a look at little John again. Nope. Nothing for him. So he can't an he can't analyze anything and he can't phone out, so I'm... Please don't tell me I'm going to get stuck on the first mission. That would really suck. Oh, wait. Clothing. That's right. We didn't look at his clothing. A key, eh? Except I can't use it. So what would that key be for? Can we analyze the key? No. Here, I guess, eh? We still don't... Yeah, so the key does not show as being in my possession. So maybe now we can leave the area? I'm glad how zippy this game is as well for being a CD title. I was concerned there'd be a lot of long loads and stuff here, but... Check for what? It's been weakened by rust in several places. Okay. Could 
Metal Gear maybe get the pipe? I feel like that pipe is something I want to get, but... Hmm... That also feels relevant in some way. Yeah, but we can't... Hmm. So you don't detect anything special. Maybe I could use, uh... these environmental things are relevant in some way, but I can't select any of them beyond, you know, just talking about them. So, I don't see the... There's only so much I can do here, though, so... Unless I miss something else on Gibson. Maybe I did. This is the problem when you have to commentate while you play, is you don't necessarily know... Uh, ah, yeah. <laughs> when you have to commentate while you play, is you forget uh, little things. You don't pay quite as much attention. My bad. Okay, now can I have him do something with it? Did I investigate his blaster? I think I did, eh? Yes, I did. Let's just double check him again. Aha! Hair, eh? Aha! That's useful. Alright, Metal Gear. Well, grab it, would you? Very detailed analysis for a few locks of hair, but uh, all right. Now analyzing recovered tissue sample. Looks like a weather map. Analysis complete. Results on the display. One enzyme antibody analysis indicates subject is blood type O, Rh factor negative. Two chromosomal analysis of cells in the sample. So, yeah, I was going to say, so there's, there's, uh, was a male and a female involved in this? Uh, okay, so we got all that. Okay, well, I think we're, let's go check the dead end again, just to be safe. Okay. So now can we retreat out of here? Leave 
now. Jesus, no? Okay. Um, are these a distant, different things? So these are basically the same thing. And I presume he still can't use the video phone. That's a different, that's a different error though. That's, I cannot uh, transmit from this area is not the same as the, the pollen is in use. So maybe we can video phone now. Yeah, I can't transmit from this area is, is different. That often means, maybe not. You have, and yet you're not. Let's check him again. An analysis of Sean's stomach reveals a major lesion on the pyloric region of the gastric membrane. So, John had an ulcer, huh? Yes. In addition, I read a substantial quantity of partially digested organic compounds. Organic compounds? If you can determine the composition and the degree to which the food's been digested, we may be able to figure out where Sean's been. So, yeah. Okay, so a key thing with this is I've learned is you have to do the same action sometimes several times over in order to complete everything. So, that's good to know. Now making incision in John's stomach to analyze organic compounds present. Uh. Analysis complete. Guess, you, guess you're allowed to tamper with a crime scene. Results of the analysis indicate the organic compounds are primarily composed proteins that have been exposed to digestive acids for approximately three hours. Amino acid structure of the protein suggests the meat is that of a buffalo. Buffalo meat? Buff yes, buffalo meat. The results indicate that Jean ate buffalo meat somewhere about three hours before he was killed. Okay. Buffalo burger? Okay, investigate his personal belongings. Yeah, there's another one. Search the house. Okay. Let's look again. Okay. Okay. Okay, maybe now we can leave? Investigate evidence. So that must be for his house. Yeah. Says anything else here? Okay. Well, let's move forward to all the rooms again, just in case. Okay. Got to be thorough in these adventure in these adventure games, you know. Can't just run through your scripted events like you do in your Call of Duties, you whippersnappers. I still feel there's something to deal with the, either those pipes or that dripping water in some way, but I don't know. Can I transmit now? Ah, now we're back to Snow 9 blocking transmissions. Oh my god, really? What else needs doing then? This is definitely an adventure game. There's some weird, like little bit left over that you need to that you need to use there or do do something on that it's not going to tell you about you know what maybe a little john is what we're supposed to use the key on wouldn't surprise me let's 
look, I'll tell you what, let's look at Little John. No, wait, no, we can't. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know here. This is getting really weird. Maybe we can use... God, is there still something else we need to dig off of this guy? And we actually can't look at Gibson anymore. Oh, wait, yeah, we can. So... I'm already kind of, uh, kind of a bit stumped. I really am surprised by that. It's just the command structure in this is very, um, the command structure in this is very weird. Like, it's not like an old Sierra game where you have to type in commands and see if you can figure out what it's, what it's big enough, what it's thinking here, but... It's definitely, um, it expects me to do something very, very specific, but I don't know, I really don't know what. Like, I've tried basically everything that's available in every area, but I can't touch anything. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um... I don't know, guys, man. I really am shocked I got I seem to have gotten stuck this early, but crushed flat. There obviously has to be something to that we, we need to do um, either with that pipe or the uh, dripping area. But I'm really not sure what. anything we can use. Hmm. And we can't transmit because Snow 9 is present. Hmm. And I can't even... I can't draw my, uh, my gun or anything. Uh, like when you're in the, the menus here, you actually can't bring your... You can't bring your gun out. So, it's, uh, yeah, it's, see, it says, like, there's some wiring sticking out as well, and yet I can't, I can't actually do anything with it.
I have a feeling the uh, that pipe is probably used there. That that to me right there indicates that we should be that, we, that I I should pull that that pipe off, but. But I want to. So you said steam is leaking out, and yet the. here what the deal is and I can't move also this loop is starting to kind of drive me a little nuts This is interesting. Um, I may have to dig something up on this and uh, see what's what. Because I basically can't do anything else. Transmit. I'm reading movement. Oh, God, that's what I had to do was just store that little piece of paper. Really? Uh oh. Snatchers. Okay, here we go. Finally. Sorry about that, guys. It, 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 it turns out this game is very, very particular, so I'm going to have to keep that in mind. Oh, here we go. Combat. Oh, dear. Uh-oh. You hear that? I hear that. Tiny little beep. I hear it. Oh, shit. Why do I have a nasty feeling what we do what that's a bomb? <laughs> really? I hear it. You guys probably don't so well cuz the, obviously the game volume is not full in these videos, but yes, there is a beep and it really sounds like a bomb.
Notice how the water stopped? Oh, no, it hasn't. There it is. Little John's got a bomb in him. Oh, little John. Nice panic look. Evacuate immediately. There is little time. <laughs> and this is your reminder that you should save on a regular basis. All right. Well, you know what? Just in case we're actually on a timer, let's save in slot three. Let us back the F out. Ah, I'm getting really weird control response. Sorry, guys. Good thing I saved, eh? I don't know why my controller was not responding ideally before. My god, there's a lot of these things. Good thing I did that practice, otherwise I would be bombing this hard. It wouldn't... probably would have died before I figured out how this controller worked. Good lord! Die already! No, nope, we're still not done. Wow. Up. Uh. Okay. Jesus. This guy can do a lot. I'm wondering if that... Uh, has bearing on things later. Yeah, wow. The combat in this game, not its most engaging feature, I have to say. Yeah, let's get out of here, shall we? We're getting out of here. Yes, we are. Sorry, I cannot go with you. What's wrong with you? Hurry it up. I am incapable of locomotion. What on earth are you blabbering about? Oh. Let's go. It's going to blow. Please save yourself. What? Oh, I can't believe this stupid robot! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> Impressive. Jeez, my ears are really ringing. That's because you left the volume turned up. Damn snatchers. Oh, fourth wall. There is no need for concern. I have stored all the information about the evidence and the area in my memory. We should return to Junker Headquarters. Well, that's probably a good note to end this episode on. A little longer than I was expecting, but uh, sorry I got a little stuck there, We've guys. Return to Junker Headquarters. Oh, that was some first day. Now entering the building. Hopefully that won't be a problem in the future. I'll try to... Now that I understand a little bit about how this game's logic the lobby. works. Gillian, I heard about Jean. Oh. I'm sorry. I wish I could have done more. Sorry, Mika. You performed your duties quite satisfactorily. That's right. It's not your fault, Gillian. Don't worry about it. By the way, the chief is waiting for you. This is the chief's office. Well, see, that was a pretty rough first assignment to draw. Guess we're gonna hear you about this made a first. Great effort, though. I've studied the data transmitted back by Metal Gear, so I know all about what happened out there. It's too bad about Gibson. He was a great junker. Seed, I need you to take over for him. You're the only one I've got left who can battle this snatcher menace. Very, uh, somber piano. Jazzy somber. Ah. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to save it up here, and then I think we are good for this first episode so like I said hopefully um, there will be a little bit more uh, or a little bit less uh, getting stuck like that in the future hoping to not you have to use a fact very often but uh, I was figuring out the game's logic a little bit and how it expects me to do things so comes with starting a cold play right so 
But I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, please feel free to leave any feedback you have. This is a new idea that I'm trying out. I'm hoping you guys are going to like it. But uh, yeah, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please like, subscribe, and or comment. And well, I will uh, see you guys next time when we will dig into some more Snatcher. Take it easy, guys.